So that's 25. Shit. As you're trying to sneak up, he says, sneak all you want, I can still see you. He tells you you are looking for his boss. But you're not gonna fight. Don't notice the tripwire. No. And three darts shoot out, hitting you for a total of seven points of damage. Oh. So as I cast Scorching Ray, I want to fire the first fireball, taking out his legs. While he is hovering in the midair, the second fireball slashes through his stomach, and the first fire, last fireball takes off his head, completely dismembering him. That was an, actually, I forgot to roll the d4 with guidance for those, so uh, yeah, they would have all hit either way. way. <laughs> they were good. <laughs> we'll say it, it hit harder. <laughs> Even better. Yeah, right. <laughs> He was nothing but a blood stain on the wall. Three more down. That's max distance. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right there. And I'm good. Alright. Uh, then it is this lovely gent's turn. He's gonna stop right there. Uh, 17 hits, I assume. 17 does hit. You are going to take four points of pierce er, of slashing damage, sorry. Alrighty. The archer's turn. He's going to move in for a shot. Fourteen hit. Fourteen barely hits me. Six. Six, I'm back to full. Brit's turn. Uh, maybe down and towards the uh, other pillar. Three down. And then one over, maybe? Right. Yeah, you can make so you three more spaces. There? Three more spaces. I'll move two more down. Uh, while you mo do move, you do notice in this cage right over here that there is an elven man. Okay. Alright, uh, yeah, roll Whoa. your attack. 18, so that's 25. 25 hits. 8. It's 8. Alright, uh, yeah, as you... Uh, let your arrow fly. It sinks right into uh, his arm, dealing massive damage to him. He's looking pretty bloody. This lovely little feller's turn. Wait, oh, wait. I didn't realize that was a person. He's gonna come up off of his throne in the middle of the room. He is gonna stop right there. And he is also gonna take a swipe at CJ. Yay, this one's gonna Everybody hurt. Everybody trying to get a piece of CJ's ass, I swear. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Does a 19 hit? Yeah, that's yeah, a 19 hit. hit. I, like, the dice, so I'm just saying, maybe I can re roll if you no, want. No, right, you're no. fine. <laughs> it's fine. Because knowing no how much damage is happening, seven points of damage. Uh huh. All right, let's second attack. Uh huh. Uh, 15 hits, correct? Correct. Four more points of damage. Okay. And then... It's still, it's still going. Does a dirty yeah. 20 hit you? Why? What do you think? <laughs> and then he does two more points of damage. Awesome. A scimitar for two attacks, and then a dagger for a third attack. One more bandit boy over here. And that's as far as he gets. We are back to top of the round, which is going to be Meredith. Meredith, yeah. Meredith. <laughs> Should be 25 feet. Yep. Um, actually, can I do uh, five more feet diagonal down Absolutely to the right? Absolutely, you can. Cool. So, um, I want to attack the... Uh, I want to attack this big boss man. Go for it. Cool. 25? Yeah, 25 hits. 
So 10 points of damage. Now I'm going to swipe at him again with my other battle axe. Yeah, go for it. Damn it. Uh, uh, four does not hit. Uh, that's a 10. Thank you very much, <laughs> but I know. Okay. I don't need the sass. As you swing down with one mighty axe strike, it doesn't do a lot of damage to him. As you rear back your second one to swing, it barely glances off of his studded armor. Four spaces diagonally to the right, and then an additional one to the right, directly. Uh, that, that, yeah, that's fine. Um, can I cast Suggestion on the big bad? Yeah, that should be a DC. Uh, a saving throw that he has to make, correct? Yes, 12. Wisdom. Uh, he, has, he has to beat 12 in wisdom? Yeah. He got a nat 20. Ah, damn. Well, so you're really like, do good. this, like, no. No. I really feel like it be later. You have a lot of health, don't you? Merida? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry about this then, because you're going to be the only one that it's going to hit. Yeah, you're fine. I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Um, now I'm casting Burning okay. Hands. Sorry. Uh, those are DC throws f to, for half damage, correct? Yes, 14. Okay, I, then I pass. Okay. Uh, you take uh, half damage. Yeah, I know. Uh, both Bandit and the Bandit... You. A uh, leader takes full damage. Okay, I, I cast it. this at first level, so it's 3d6. That's 6, 9, 11. So you, and it, half is rounded so down or up? It gets rounded up, so I take 6 points of damage. Okay, so 11 to them, completely disintegrating the, what's left of the one guy. Kill the small bandit? Yay. And I get 7 more temporary hit points. Probably a good thing. Yep, that's the main <laughs> reason I did it. <laughs> Woo! Temp hit! Thanks. That's keeping me alive! <laughs> yeah, all right. I will say, my girl's a little pissed at you right now. I am sorry, but I did what I had to do. <laughs> kind of just, like, stares at you, just like this really hardcore death glare. There's a little tiny fire burning on the, like, the, like one of her curls of her hair, and she just, like, psst, her you were... fingers open. You were out of range, you're fine. You didn't take full damage. You took you didn't take full damage, you're fine. <laughs> Guys, this is going really good right now. Well, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So he moved there. Hold on. Somebody just said this is going really good. <laughs> Anyone want to explain why that is the dumbest thing that could have been said right now? We're no, about to get pulled! Earlier I said it when I got shot with arrows, and now I said it when I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> and next thing you know, the bandit leader, this isn't even my final form! <laughs> Why'd you give me that look, babe? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, he's not, because he is attacking Merida. Ah. Which, yes. diagonally... Uh, I see that. Uh, does a 16 hit you? I don't remember uh, your armor. Yeah. Six points of uh, piercing damage to you. I can move <laughs> over to the big bad and attack him with my scimitar. Ooh! Absolutely. Uh, do you want to get right in front of him or to the side here? Um, to the side. 17. 17 just barely hits. I got 4 damage. Yeah, 4 damage. As you swing your sword, it cuts him across the arm, letting a little bit of blood just drip from it. Is there any spaces that the armor isn't on? If you want to try to hit a precise shot, I do make you roll a really high, really high to hit precision shots. My first time, I'll do it. Yeah, I get uh, plus where seven to hit. Where exactly are you trying to precisely hit him? 
I, I would like to hit him in a gap in the armor. You gotta tell me a precise spot for this. Because you're trying to make um, a precision shot. Let, let, does he have a gap in the neck? Let's go with the neck. Alright. Uh, yeah, I will say because it is a precision shot, it is gonna have to be a 19 or higher. You got hit. this. You got this. Okay. 16. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Shoot your arrow across this cave. Maybe it was the light flickering in your eye. Maybe you didn't exhale at the correct time, but it skirts off his shoulder and just <sighs> goes into the distance. I am going to put myself in between um, the big bad and the cages. So I'm going to go like uh, one down, two over. Right or left? Right. All right. As you get closer to the cage, you hear the elf inside say, please help. I, okay, this is out of character because obviously I couldn't hear that, but what the fuck do you think we're doing? You think we're over here? <laughs> <laughs> Big dude's turn. Uh, he is going to go wait for that dwarf that ran up on him. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. He got a nat 20 to attack. Oh, oh critical. Oh. So, how we do critical oh, here, man. It, it's the full amount of damage, plus you roll for dam extra damage. Oh. So, that is 9 points of damage, plus an extra 6 points of damage. That is 15 damage. Then, I believe a seven hits you. Does it not? A seven. Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. Seven. Yes. Right. That is another six points of damage. And let's see if he hits you with his last attack. All right. Uh, he misses his last attack on you. You. You dirty fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely characteristic up for a hit like that. Seeing this little bandit dude finally make his way downtown. Making Walk his way down. downtown, walking fast. Thanks to the pass of homebound. <laughs> Gotta try to swipe at uh, our local dwarf. And a six does not hit. So as he sprints over. He swings his sword down and just completely misses like a buffoon. Woo! Like a buffoon. <laughs> I'm glad you said it because I was about to. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the right one and then diagonal up one to the okay. right. So wait, Sorry. right one. Oh my god, I hate this thing. I yeah, cannot I wait till session two. And then diagonal up. <laughs> yeah, right there. So I'm not out of his range of hitting, but yeah, okay. So I'm going to go there and I'm actually going to do a trip attack. Okay. So, do you want to explain what it is for everyone? So, upon attack, so I, ha I still have to roll to attack, and then I add a d8 to my damage, so it does more damage. And then if the target is larger, is like size large or less, they have to make a strength save, and if they fail that save, they fall prone. Okay, I roll to see if it hits. Uh, oh wait, I get advantage, right? Because I'm... Or yep, because he's surrounded, you get advantage. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's 24. 24 hits. Um, okay, and then so I do 2d8 because I add my d8. Alright, that is 9 points of damage. Then he has to make a strength save against mine, which is 14. He got an 18. Fuck. Okay, so he's not prone, but I got extra damage at least. Oh, he got a dirty 20 with me the first time. Just a straight up attack, so then, yeah, I'll use my uh, bonus attack to uh, do like the other. And get advantage. Nat 20. Oh. So, 
Okay. Very nice. You're uh, you're about to hate me. He has a legendary reaction. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Where he can make you re-roll a die. Oh. You Welcome to hell. Oh. Nineteen. Okay. And Nineteen hits. Fuck you. <laughs> Gotten that dang critical. Uh, that was cool. full damage, which is cool. So, and eight points of damage. All right, he is starting to look a little run down. I'm probably just going to go for a guiding bolt. Going to go, uh, yeah, just cast that first level. Go ahead. So, roll that. No, oh, you're kidding. What is what are what is with my rolls? I'm rolling a two. Hello? What up? You rolled a two? Oh, okay. Yeah, a rolled two. a two. Yeah, uh, two does not hit. Yeah, two uh, does not hit. Okay. God. Is our tiefling's turn? Yay! I am going to once again cast Scorching Ray. One bolt firing at the little guy, two bolts firing at the big bad. Absolutely. Roll to see First if bolt hit. going at the little guy. We have a nine. I doubt that hits. Nine does not hit. Two bolts going at the next guy. We got a 22. Yep. And a 13. 13 does not hit. Alrighty. Well, he gets 2d6 of fire damage. That's a three. Oh, yeah. And that's six. That's nine damage. He is starting to look a little bloody. Uh, and I will move... Uh, one square diagonal left, and then one to the left. Nope, other way, sorry. So right? Up and to the left. I'm sorry, one more time. So up, Go. left. Yep, and then left one. Left one, alright. Right there. I'm good. Right, it is the archer's turn. And Vodor is the only one in sight, so he is gonna make that attack. Uh, Three. <laughs> a 19 right. hits. You take two points of piercing damage. I have eight health. <laughs> Move towards me. Um. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to move behind Papa Tiefling. Okay, so here is how this works: you can disengage, which will stop one of them from getting an attack, or if you just try to run away, they both will get attacks of opportunity to you. Hmm. So, what would you like to do in that scenario? <clears throat> if you disengage, I will let you choose which one you're disengaging from. I'd like to disengage, and I would definitely like to disengage from the lesser of the two going to kill me. Hmm? Hmm. Alright, uh, and you said you want to move behind the CJ. Tiefling? I will roll to see if this guy hits you after I move you. Yeah, we'll just say you make it back there. Then. Uh, does a 14 hit? Uh, just barely. I got a 12. Five points of damage. Oh, God. Ooh. Can I touch myself beside, behind CJ and heal? Uh, no, because you already used your action to disengage. Damn it. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just hide. See, the big bad's almost down, isn't he? He's looking a little bloody. A little bloody? Yep. <laughs> Maybe I should go after the other guy then instead for right now. Am I, is my short bow able to reach him? Yeah. I'll just attack him then. You should have, I think, 60 feet on your short bow, then 120 with disadvantage. Okay. 
So I'm going to go Bonus ahead attack. and attack hit, him. Sorry. And I got a nat fucking 20, so that's a 27. Yeah, um, I'm not even going to have you roll damage. Uh, how would you like to do this? Um, Just hit him square dab in between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I think I just, like, call, like, what? And, like, he turns towards me, and then the arrow just meets between his eyes. All right. As you let that fly, it pierces him right in the forehead and between his eyes, dropping him. Move uh, behind the pillar. And try to be as sneaky as I can about it. You want, like, right there? Yeah. Big dude's turn. And he is just gonna wipe out the lady next to it. 11 plus. That's a 15 hit. I think that's my AC. Yeah, that's my AC. Six points of damage. Okay, I'm going to make a parry attack. Absolutely. Uh, well, I'm gonna not attack, but I'm gonna parry. So whenever I take melee attack damage, uh, you get a plus two to your AC. Use I can use my reaction to subtract one of like my like a D eight okay. plus my Dex modifier from the damage taken. Okay. Yeah, roll that D eight then. Six. Yeah, so you take zero damage as it swings down. You're barely able to get your battle axe in the way, so his sword bounces off of it. But as one sword bounces off, another sword comes down with a 16 to hit. Yep. Dealing five points of damage. Cool. Uh, then he is going to try to hit you with his third attack. And uh, four does not hit you, I would assume. That is correct. Uh, yeah, that's going to end his turn. And then we are back at the top. So it is now Merida's turn. Okay. So uh, I'm going to make a goading attack using all my maneuvers today. <laughs> so a goading attack is I add a d8 to my damage roll. So I make an attack, add to my damage roll. The target must make a wisdom save. On a fail, he gets disadvantage on attacks against any other member in my party until the end of my next turn. Yeah. Yeah, so, nice. He might die, but if he doesn't, I'm just trying to cover my bases if I if I am able to land attacks. Yeah. You have more legendary actions, don't you, babe? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. Do you want me to? No. I'm scared. <laughs> that one anyway. If anybody... Quick, everybody vote right now. Should I have more legendary actions? No. Chat says yes! <laughs> just kidding. There's nobody in my chat ever. Because I don't. <laughs> you said it, miss. Okay. That's fine. So I'm gonna swipe at him with my second attack. Um, still making the goading attack. Got it. Uh, 17 plus 6, so 23. Yep, that hits. Okay, so... And you said I have to make yeah. a wisdom saving? Wisdom saving, yes. What does he have to beat? 14. He got a 13. Yeah. And he also okay. takes... 11 points of damage. He is looking extremely bloodied. Um, so I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on Big Battery. But 15 this time. All right, yeah, 15 oh, yeah. barely hits. And that was a 5. So I yeah, did 5 do points wanna... of radiant damage. How do you want to do this? Um, oh, let's see. So... <laughs> After seeing uh, my failed attempts, I get extremely, extremely angry at not being able to contribute. And I call upon Mistress Power, and I say, strike with your sacred flame. Yes. Hell yeah. Here we go. <laughs> the flame comes down. It's just like, it, what the fuck? It almost, like, <laughs> it almost looks like he boils from the inside as his skin turns red and he just falls over dead on the ground. 
Uh, a diagonal space down to the left. And then we'll actually do another one. And then that'll be good. Ooh. All right. Yay. Can you uh, move me one space straight down? Absolutely. And then I am going to finally Eldritch Blast. Oh, nice. I have been wondering what you were <laughs> doing. I was, uh, I was, I was, <laughs> Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast! That is a 25. Yeah, that, uh, well, that, that hits. <laughs> I get it. Do you count zero as ten? Yes. Okay. That is a three points of damage. Alright. What does it look like when you cast Eldritch Blast? I raise my hand straight in front of my body, and I cast FOSRONDA! You do that, this almost <laughs> ethereal looking bolt comes from your hand and just slams him right in the chest. His turn, and he does as Mike that you just did that, so he's gonna try to attack you. Okay. Uh, a 10 does not hit you, Aww. so you slam him with that Eldritch Blast, his hands shake, and he lets his arrow fly, but due to the impact, it barely goes five feet in front of him. <laughs> our to our lovable dwarf's turn. I'm just, I'm gonna move one to the left, <laughs> hide behind the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not doing too good, guys. <laughs> and maybe it's maybe it's my weird sense of humor. Maybe it's all the times I watched Austin Powers. But I'm not just saying when I think about you, I touch myself and heal myself of cure wounds. And we hear some of that. <laughs> It's all nightmares because who you're thinking about is that guy that just hit you. Yeah. Yeah. Demonetization. Yep. Three, four, wait, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine left. I got nine extra. Woo! I got nine added. Since you did sing a little bit of that, I'm going to give you a point of DM Inspiration. So with DM Inspiration, you can re-roll any dice once. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get higher than a three and probably regret it. I got a one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just take three. <laughs> I can stick with my three, yay. <laughs> the rolls today are godlike. <laughs> Alright, uh, you're doing now. He was just crying in the corner while holding the wolf and the pseudo dragon. Got it, got it. Okay. So, our sneaky Kinku, what you doing? Beast. I'm gonna go diagonal left. Let's see, one, two, three. I'm gonna go left one and do one more diagonal left. And from there, I'm going to try to diagonal hit... Diagonal left down or diagonal left up? Down. Yeah. Okay. And from there, I'm going to try to hit him with my short bow. That's 30. Mm -hmm. yep. Go for it. That's 21. Absolutely, that hits. 10 damage. How would you like to do this? Um, so I ran from there to the pillar... And then as soon as I get to that spot, I just let one off before I duck under the table. All right. I assume you counted how many arrows you shot during this. Uh, I am definitely uh, going behind where the big bandit originally was because it looks like there's some shiny treasure there. There is indeed a chest back there. It is not open, but like, it only let me have an open chest for this. I kind of I'm go going to search for a key for the cages. All right. I walk over two cages. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to over to the little sitting area in the left hand corner. <laughs> right, we are just gonna... tired, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna start with searching the big guy. Uh, roll me an investigation on that. 18. Uh, with an 18, you do find uh, a set of keys on him. Alright. Uh, you also find a... <coughs> Sorry about that. You also find a pouch containing two gold, three copper, and one silver, and a small ruby. Ooh. But, um, I'm gonna, I am gonna say, like, uh, hey guys, I found the keys. So, like, okay. So I don't need to continue searching. Let's go over to uh, unlock these cages. Alright, uh, as you unlock the cage, uh, the elf man sprints out and grabs you in a hug. Wait, which one? The Whoever one. unlocked it. Okay, I'm not <laughs> unlocking it then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, because I had the idea, I will be the recipient of the hug. Yeah, I'll give him the keys. He gives you this really big hug, and he definitely smells like he could use a shower. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, God, I'm just, sorry. Uh, smells like, um, oh, uh, 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 sounds like you've been here for a while. He tells you, I've been here for, for two days now. They have worked me to the bone for two days, making them weapons. Weapons? Uh, he tells you, yes, uh, the boat they have over there, they, uh, they brought in raw steel and an anvil and has forced me to work all day for the past two days making them swords to ship out. Well, then the best thing we can do is return them to the village and then selling those weapons or having the villagers sell those weapons or... At least that's my decision. What do you guys think? I think it is perfectly fine for them to sell the weapons, but I'm keeping the loot. I need yep. some gold for some weapons. healing potion. We will get to the chest in just a moment. Um, what was you doing, CJ? I was over by the cages before anybody else. I was over on the bench. I was over, over on the, the bench. bench. <laughs> no, just I just over here. <laughs> um, I will say you see in the other cage that it looks like somebody else was in the cage. Who's uh, been here with you? Uh, he tells you nobody was here when I got here, but if I had to guess, it was probably the baker. She got kidnapped about a week ago. Do you know if they were taking anybody anywhere else? They didn't tell me much. Just kept yelling at me to make more swords. You never ever heard any conversation that could be helpful? I, uh... I kept hearing them talk about the pit behind the throne. I guess we must check that out. Okay. So, beforehand, uh, we've got to jump back over to the chest. Yep. Indeed. Alright, uh, do you just swing open the chest? Oh, God. Um, I look at it first and see if it's booby trapped. Roll me for an investigation. how I can see. We've been going I don't like this size get up you gave me. <laughs> so I got what? a six. Damn. It doesn't look booby trapped to you. <laughs> Right next to me. Bring <laughs> 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 it open. I try to open it. You find out it's locked. <laughs> we have keys. So I guess we should give the keys mm -hmm. to him. Like, we uh, walk over behind the throne and see him failing to open this chest. Uh, uh, it, it's up to the thief to uh, try to rob Strick. Not I'm even curious. saying anything. I'm curious, is there anything in the area that I'm at? Uh, I will, uh, in my thieves, in my thieves pack, don't I have the lockpick set? 
Yeah, um, are you going to use the lockpick set or the keys they're offering? We have the keys. <laughs> I'll take the keys. <laughs> <laughs> right. We have the... No. And you all said you, all three of you walked behind the throne to watch him struggle? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, as he inserts the key, I'm going to need you all to make a deck saving throw that's oh, behind shoot. the throne. 15, then. 14. 30, 20. Alright, and uh, what did our Kenku get? 15. Alright, yeah. Well, he added open... 5 to my deck saving throws. Right. As you uh, open it, you hear a vial crack, like glass cracking, and you all jump back in time just barely enough that a little puff of green smoke uh, goes right beside you. Poison! Ooh. All right, uh, before we get to what's in the chest, we are going to jump over to our very injured dwarf. <laughs> uh, what exactly are you looking for over there? Anything to give me health. Um, you are over by the beds, correct? Yes, I'm in the left corner. So while you are over there, you do notice this little chest right here. Uh, that um, looks like it would be the only thing that has any type of value in it. I go to investigate. Uh, what are you, exactly are you investigating on it? To see if I can open it. So you just want to try to open it? Yeah. Yeah, you can just try to open it. You don't have to investigate to see if you can open it. Okay, I open. Yeah, um, as you open it, inside you find, uh... A small pouch containing 15 pieces of gold, two pieces of silver, and an unmarked potion bottle. <laughs> oh. Yes. Unmarked potion bottle, you say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I use detect poison and disease on it. Yeah, uh, it's not poison. And... It can't contain a disease because it's a, it's it's a potion. <laughs> um, so Dave, just so you know, because uh, since we're like you know some new players, um, you can do like I think what it would be an Arcana check. So like Arcana is a skill that we all have, and like yes. some are proficient and all that, just like you know perception and everything. But you can do an Arcana check on it to see if you know what kind of potion it is, or if you can detect anything from it. Okay, cool. So that would also be rolling your d20 if you would like to do that. I think I'm going to do that before I chug this mysterious no, potion. Oh, chug the mysterious yeah. potion. Yeah, go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, give me a second here. Let me see what you need to beat. I'm going to be surprised if I beat it. All right, yeah, go ahead and roll it. I already did. I got an 11. On 11, you are not able to identify the potion. And how I do this... Since you failed this identification, you can't try to identify it again until tomorrow. But anybody else in your party can try once per day. Uh, oh, yeah, does anybody know if this thing's a healing potion? I kind of need it. Can I roll, Arcana? You can, but let me finish what's in this okay. chest first that you all are surrounded by. Okay. Oh, yes. I never added golden shit. So, as you open this chest, you notice a hefty pile of silver in there. There is uh, 120 pieces of silver. There Ooh. is 200 pieces of copper. And there is a letter that is folded up. I would like to read hey. the letter. You're not over by us. Oh, wrong chest, sorry. Wrong, Jess. Well, I can read the letter then. Member of the uh, of a thieves guild and being trained, would I happen to be able to look and see if I can figure out if it's like a uh, a hidden message or something like that? Or go ahead and roll me a history check. History. How much do I have for okay. history? I got a nat 20. Nice. With a nat 20, 
you definitely know this is an encoded message that is going to require a cipher or somebody proficient in ciphers to decode. Okay. So I, I so should relay that message. I, I should relay that to the rest then. Oh, yeah. Sorry. All right, yep. Unfortunately, yeah, although I'm skills, knowledgeable. I'm sure, uh, I already forgot his name. I'm sure uh, the leader of the Adventurers Guild will know how to, like, Marcus. might know something about this. Yes, we are, none of us are, you know, proficient in ciphers, so taking this back to the guild might be the best decision. I agree. All right, uh, and that was all that was in the chest. All right. I want to so go how over should we split and... the gold, well, silver amongst ourselves? I care nothing about any of the money. I just want to do the Arcana check on Dave's potion. Can I just preface this okay. by saying I'm, I'm by I'm no means... I'm definitely counting out my share. Okay, I'm by, I, did, I, did, I, did. I, want to, I want to say real quick, I'm by no means the most honorable motherfucker here, but it is literally 12 gold pieces that it equals to. These people have been okay. suffering. It's 10, 10 silver per gold per gold. Yeah, no, you're right. 120 pieces. I I know. These people have been suffering and I'm all about, you know, like robbing the, the rich, people. giving to the poor. I just say we mm -hmm. give the money back to them. Okay. My pig. I feel like it is would... earned off their backs. Hey, that is true. I feel like that would make us look good in Marcus's eyes. After all, the guild is paying us that six gold rent, regardless. Yep. So. Yeah. Hey, let's go for it. Hey, Kira. All right. Keep it least yeah, two if you silver, to one for each kill. kill. I also want to try to make the Arcana check for that potion. I got uh, a twenty-one. Oh yeah, no. Uh, you Never mind. you know it is a healing potion, a okay. basic healing potion. I so let him 2D4, know. Two D four plus two. 2d4 plus 2? Yep. Come here, you 2d4. I'd like to roll you two at once. I'm going to down the one that I bought earlier. Yep, go for it. 2d4 plus 2, correct? Yep. Seven. 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 I think we should camp here for the night and return to the village in the morning. Okay. Okay. Or what time of day on? is it? Uh, it was... It's probably about, I'll say, about two o'clock. Okay, we can return to the village and rest up the village. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mile walk down the hill. Right. Are you guys checking anything else? Uh, I want to check the rest of the bodies. That no, I, we only looted the big bad. I want to loot the other guys. I'm yeah, curious uh, if there's anything go for in it. the uh, We'll be uh, an investigation. For we'll five. just say investigation for all of them. Okay. Uh, that's an 18 plus 3. That's 21. Uh, yeah. Uh, searching them, you find about five more copper pieces. That's it. Okay. Woo. Um, I, I have grudgingly give the chest of silver to Meredith, but I take out two silver as my payment for each of the kills. All right. I have a question. Yes. Can I walk over to the body of water? And while I walk over to the body of water, can I use my last level one spell and heal myself a little bit more and just say, holy hell, I didn't know I'd live up to my age and touch myself this much. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, 1d8. Where did you go? You beautiful. Oh, man. That's a D9. Oh, you look like an 8. Wait. A D9? D9. What? A D10? Yes. <laughs> That's a D9. Without He's a still nice. a little delirious, I guess. <laughs> he got hit a little too hard. He felt it for real. <laughs> I, got, I, I, I am almost at full health. I am one away from 33. <laughs> That's all that minus one health is a concussion. <laughs> Constitution check, please. Uh, yeah, do you guys just head back down then? 
14. Yeah. Um, I want to look into the pit. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, there we forgot is. about it. It's the like there's pit. something else. Do I, do, I, do I have to make a perception check or anything? Or like, do I just look? Cause do I you have look. dark vision? I do. Fine. I'll I look do. into the pit. Okay. okay. Um, looking into the pit, you notice there are three bodies down there. Are they moving? They are dead. Well, I think we are found they... the rest of the villagers. Hey, do you yeah, think fair we enough. Should, uh, I think we should at least pull them up so that way the villagers can bury them. Well, we do yeah. have hemp rope. Is there anywhere to tie it? We don't really have the means to tie the rope for him. So uh, yeah, one of us wants to go down there. How deep is the I'd pit? I'd say if you guys want to try to hold the rope as you lower somebody down and pull them and a body up. So it is still after us. Okay. Going down. Okay, so I'm going to need you to make a athletics check of, we'll say, 12 because you're just going down. Athletics. And then whoever is holding the rope needs to make a strength check of 15. I got a 16. I'm one of the ones holding the rope. I figured, like, me and somebody else could maybe hold the rope. If two people's holding the rope, I will lower the strength check. Um, Who has the next highest? Everybody's 12. Is Everybody else is 12? Well, then I guess I'll assist. Alright, uh, make a DC strength check of 10. Say it with me. Yep. 15. 16. Right. Uh, you guys lower him down nice and slow. Um, we're just going to do a flat rate for the three bodies. So if you guys will roll a strength check of, we'll say, 12 each to see if you pull up the bodies without any complications. Dirty 20. I pull 11. All right, with the dirty 20, I will say that counterbalances your 11. Uh, it's a little bit of a struggle, but you do get all three bodies up. Now time for me to come back up. All right, uh, you are going to have to make an athletics of 15 to climb up. <laughs> oh, that's an 18. Back down to him and, like, help him get back up. There you go. I got an 18. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm really, I'm really happy I wasn't rolling. I rolled a 1. <laughs> oh shit! Just, just roll it to see if you can do it. Oh shit! You yeah, know, through the board. <laughs> yeah, why not? He kind of like was just like tw like doing that thing where he like st like steps out on his toe and like tw tw uh, twirls his like foot a little bit, like you know, like that little shy thing that people do and stuff. Then he kind of just tw pop face plant. <laughs> Bam! He breathed out of that alcohol from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, yeah, uh, all three bodies are brought up. Um, oh. Two of them look like they have been down there for a very long time. Hey, <coughs> mm -hmm. smells fucking rotten. Let's get them packed up and back to the village. Yeah. All right. Uh, Agreed. Do you guys straight back to the village. Yeah, I say we head straight back. We have yes. dead bodies, gold, I'm and a guy. Elf, where's the elf guy? I'm getting that. Okay, the, okay, the black spot. As you guys start loading up the bodies, uh, the elf that you freed starts crying, and he tells you that is Mary the Baker. Hmm. Great. Hey. So they were working you to death. Yes. You would perceive that most likely that is exactly what was happening. I don't like that. Perceive. <laughs> when, the, when the DM says things that make you go on edge. Ah! Would you like me to use a different word? <laughs> no! <laughs> what happened. In yeah, I got that one. Even fucking Goldvein had more sense we than that. We are thing. gonna get a different picture to look at. I am sick and tired of looking at that. <laughs> can, can I do a perception <laughs> check? <laughs> I want a perception. You want a perception uh, what? I want a perception his response. You mean insight? Insight, yeah, that one. You're... 
What are you trying to gain? I don't know. I don't know. Just roll to roll, bro. Fucking roll. What'd you get? I got an eleven. Yeah, there he's telling you the truth. Just roll to roll. All right, can we head to town now? Alright, as you guys head back into town, uh, carrying oh. these bodies, you walk past the greenhouse, you're making your way back into the center of town. Uh, the blacksmith thanks you profusely, and he takes back off towards what you would probably assume is his house. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, what do we do with the bodies? Can we take the bodies to the cemetery? We should probably announce to the villagers so that way they can manage the bodies. Themselves. Yeah, I just don't. Well, I figured the, there might be like a, what's it called, like a graveyard keeper. And he can bury. A undertaker. Maybe. Like a caretaker. Oh, or something. You're dead. Absolutely. As you guys make it to the center of town, there is a man with a shovel. We have hey. a dead for right. you. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. Go, like I assume I'm holding one of the carrying one of the bodies, so I'm gonna go up to him and be like, "Excuse me, uh, we are the listen. I have no diplomacy, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say that we're the adventurers that uh, we just came from the cave where the bandits had been, and we found uh, the bodies of some of the, the villagers that had been left. Do you have one of the older ones or the one that was identified as Mary? The one that was identified as Mary." He looks at the body, and with the sigh, he goes, At least we got our body back. He tells you you can just pile all three bodies up near one of the buildings that he points out to you, and that they'll take care of them. Okay. I'm gonna set Mary down, and um, I'm gonna like make it a point to not set the two like very old ones on top of her, just like off to the side. I don't know why, I feel like that's a little weird of like, no, just plop, plop, and just stack plop. the body like they're firewood. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite activity in Left for Dead. And then I throw a fire bottle. Alrighty. Yeah. Is there anything else anybody wants to do in this town? Uh, yeah, not really. We kind of came what we needed to do. I'm ready to. Oh, I did want to give that to back up. the money. Oh, I don't know if there's a treasure. Yeah, yes. yep, the money. Wait. We got to get our horse and our carriage. Nearby, uh, you see the blacksmith uh, tending to your horse along with the little shop girl from earlier. She's brushing your horse. Okay. Uh, we should probably well, also way, alert I say that I gave some gold, like some silver back to like the lady at the, what's it called? The greenhouse? I want to give some silver to her. I'm going to like distribute it evenly amongst the three of them. Um, as you get over there, uh, that there to the blacksmith, so that way he can sell them. Can you repeat that? The weapons that we found there, aren't we letting them sell them? We should also let the villagers know about the weapons. Bring the weapons? No, we can tell the villagers oh, we didn't about bring the weapons. weapons. We can, we can, we tell can them. definitely tell them they are there. Yeah, yeah uh, you're more than welcome to tell them they're there. Um, as you walk over and tell the blacksmith, he goes, yeah, we can send a party up to get those later. I imagine we're gonna have to clean out the bandits' bodies. I imagine you didn't take care of them. We yeah, didn't. They, didn't, they uh, can they, rot where they lay. They, they you didn't have more respect in, like the civilians. That. Is that what you say to him? Kinda, yeah. Kinda, or is yeah, that no, what that's you say, what to I him? say to him? That is what I say to him. He tells you, it's not that we're not grateful. It's just been a hard time out here. Well, hopefully your hard right. times are now over. Um, up on that note, the sandwich girl from earlier uh, ask you, what's the blueberries for in the back? We were supposed to deliver them to a town, but we never actually got the name of that town. She, uh, yeah. she was going to tell you she recognizes one of the markings on the crates, and she asked what town they came from. What's um, the name of our town? Uh, we've come on, on this. 
It's, uh... I, I believe in you. I, I know what it is, I just can't fucking pronounce it without looking. I bet that was, uh, there's my... I don't remember how to pronounce it. Oh. I'm, it I'm... is... Eshrin Thalor. Eshrin Thalor. Like, she tells you, oh, yes! I, I know where those blueberries are going. They serve the best produce. It's so thrilling when we can get them out this way. Where might they be going? <laughs> she tells you about a small little no-name town on the way back. She tells you, when you head down the road about four miles, there will be a turnoff on your right. You'll just go down there and you'll see two big buildings. Absolutely. She marks got... it on your map. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Um, do they have a place where we can lay our heads, or should we do that here? Uh, she says they might be able to put you up uh, in that other town, but seeing all the work you did for them, uh, they're, you guys are more than welcome to stay at uh, the local inn. Very well. Thank you. I turn, Thank I, you I, very I, much. I, I, like turn my head towards you guys and like I like put on my hand like I'm whispering to you guys, although it's not as quiet as I'd like it to be. But I'm like, do you think it's as run down as the rest of this freaking town? Marina, <laughs> probably. Little girl, I probably. just like probably. <laughs> and she looks sad. <laughs> ah, she looks like she's gonna say something. Did you see her remember the store from earlier? <laughs> Probably. It reminds me of home. I like it here. Um, are you guys just staying the night then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Long rest. Long rest. Yep. Um, Yay. Night, they give you some food and some good drink. Okay. Okay. Uh, how long do all... I keep temporary hit points? Uh. It... Should be till your long rest, or you lose them. Okay, so I would lose them now. Got it. Two questions. Yes. Cast magic armor. <laughs> do, I, <laughs> do I brew any more potions or elixirs? Mead. Yes. Because you have well, a technically you can now, now, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you can. Yes, brew I was wondering. I would like to brew because we're going to do a long rest, and I was wondering if I heal. Yeah, uh, you can start the brew. It will take a month in-game. I will mark that, and when a month passes in-game, I will let you know you have 15 more bottles. Thank you. And um, do I get back to 33 health points after the rest, or still at yeah, 32? Yeah, uh, so with a long rest, you will fully heal, and you will get back all your spell slots. Okay, I got no the spell concussion. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I need to have a swig of alcohol now. I am the liquor. Do you want to drink one of yours again? Uh, I feel like twelve. I want to. I want to have my dragon needs its hoard. I got a little bit too personal when I talked with him, and now I feel bad for taking away three bottles of booze. <laughs> right. Alrighty. All right. Uh, Next day. Oh, really quick, how does the bed look? Are they like. Uh, it is definitely just straw stuff. Okay, in I'm gonna pocket. put down my bedroll next to it. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep on wood That's true. and a net. <laughs> That's true. But she's, more, she's very comfortable on her bedroll. I have a question. I have a I weird post on the end of the bed, like at like the head post kind of thing, and. Put the uh, my cloak over top of my eyes. Um, is the bed in is the bed in like a rough, rundown condition? What was the question? I'm sorry. Is the is the bed in a rough, rundown condition, like broken? Um, I'll say bed frame wise, it's fine. Uh, the straw stuffed mattress though definitely has a few pieces of straw sticking out. Um, before I go to bed just for shits and giggles, I use mending and I'm just like, yeah, I'll fix your mattress too, you ungrateful fucks. Jesus. Man, you all Jesus. are going to town that has nothing. We gave them a bunch <laughs> of gold, we made them rich, and now we're like, ah, oh, you fucking fix your town, you have the money, God. 
it's been like an hour and a half. And also, like, yes. <laughs> also, that was like 120 silver, not gold. But and then we, we gave him all the gold. gold. Yeah. Man, what are you talking? About? A piece or two is not like here and there is not much. Okay. You can fix your town. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we just uh, we turned from a shanty town to I don't know maybe Chillicothe, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, anyway, so you guys go to sleep. <laughs> you wake up the next day. I assume since you hate the town so much, you guys are just gonna jump on the cart and leave. Yeah! I like All it right, here. Let's, it reminds let's me go. of my house. Let's get the fuck back. I like this little town. It reminds me of my home. <laughs> I like you guys are hungry. Fucking ungrateful a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can be an asshole and still work it here. Hospitality. <laughs> God damn. Anyways. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, do you guys just head right back to the adventurers guild? No, we're dropping the berries. No, we dropping those berries off. The berries yeah, are yeah. making their fucking way. <laughs> um, while we're on our way to drop our bear, drop the berries off, I'm gonna eat two of my potatoes. Yeah. I'm gonna eat a day's worth of rations. I yeah. will also eat a day's worth of rations. I still have all my rations and I'm losing potatoes. I'm probably not that well fed though. Alright, yeah, um, the way back goes off without a hitch. Uh, you guys drop off the three crates. Uh, they hand you, uh, 50 pieces of gold to give to the little old lady. Yep. And uh, on your way back, uh, you are passing the farms. We drop off the gold. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. Just the gold? And the cart. And the cart. And the horse. We give her a new horse. Uh, she's yeah, very that horse is ours. <laughs> and the horse? Yeah, the horse is ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you guys, I don't want... Give the lady the horse. She lost her donkey. Yeah, I can fair enough. Why, why, why good. take the horse when you can ride me? Oh, yeah, daddy! <laughs> Language. <laughs> Keep it PG. Not sexually. <laughs> That's an innuendo. I've heard uh, worse on kids' free channels. Um, yeah, so you drop it off. She's extremely grateful. Uh, as promised, she has a freshly baked blueberry pie waiting on you guys when you get there. And she cuts you all each a happy slice of pie. Yay, pie. Hell yeah. There we go. Hey. Fine dining. This is what Which it's is... all about. I cast mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> this is I delicious pie. Mage armor. <laughs> I, I haven't done it in a while. I, <laughs> I picked up my pizza. <laughs> I pick up my piece of pie with my bare hands and just stuff it in my face. I'm also gonna, just gonna down mine. Yeah, everybody right. just eats the pie. After you guys eat, you make your way back to the Adventurer's Guild. On entering, you guys are stopped by Naomi. As you will remember, she is the little gnome that works the front desk there. Uh, she asks you if the task has been completed. Yes, 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 you sweet little Naomi. It was fucking hard, though. We did more than the task required. Upon it, she pulls out a piece of paper that she signs her name to, and then she stamps it three different times in three different spots on it, and then sets a small pouch with six pieces of gold upon the counter for you, and tells you that uh, Mr. Songblade is waiting for you up in his office again. I walk away from the pouch and head towards the office. Um, so do we need to divvy up the gold? That's up to y'all. I just I reach in and take out- I take out one gold coin and just say, I don't think I helped too much hiding behind the pillar and clutching myself like a preteen. I think this is funny. I'll just take one piece. That'll be mine. 
I'll take I was only able to do one. manage. Oh, I'll take, I'll take the rest if nobody else is going for I mean, just... I don't uh, think the thief thing even cares. I took one, so I went from 38 to 39. I took none. I have 99 and 5 copper. Alright, 92 and 5 silver. Heading towards the office. Do you all head towards the office? Yeah, I'm coming. Yes. Right, yeah, as you all head towards the office, uh, once again, the doors seem to open as if by magic as you get closer. Uh, Marcus Song Blade is currently writing on a piece of paper, and without looking up, he just gestures towards the seats and says, Please come in. I sit down and just don't say a word. As you all file in, uh, do you all take a seat this time around? Yes. I'm still going to stand up with my arms crossed. Just, like, not threatening or anything. Just like, you know, like a, this is how I stand kind of thing. All right. I go to sit down and say, howdy, sir. He takes me. I, I, I stand behind Meredith and peek from behind her. As he uh, finishes writing what he's doing, he folds it up, puts it in a stamp, and or puts it in an envelope and stamps it with a wax seal. Then he looks up and says, "So sorry, I was. Uh, I had to send a letter to my sister. As you all know, she's campaigning again this year for re-election, and I had to send her my best wishes." Your task is done. He nods and says, "I'm glad to see you all work together and that you all have returned." It was harder than what it should have been. Uh, some of that was our own fault, though, because we wanted to help more than we really needed to. Yes. Yeah, if you'll elaborate on that? Bandits are dead. Um, the bandits are dead. Um, we rescued the blacksmith. We helped a little old lady with her berries. We gave uh, the silver back to the people. It turns out the bandits the were making themselves. slaves. The dang on weapons that they were making too. He takes a moment and he says, but you took care of all the bandits, correct? All yes. the ones we seen. Yeah. All the ones that we had seen, yes, actually. Do you know if they were working for anyone? Uh, they they weren't too Not keen we to talk. Tell. They mentioned, uh, that they were gathering people to work for them, but like we didn't really. We gathered this note. I hand him the note. He looks over the note. He pauses for a minute, and he goes, "I don't know what I'm looking at here. Does it come with a cipher?" We were not able to find one. He asks you if he's allowed to keep the note, so that he may do some research into trying to figure out the cipher. You have more connections Go ahead. than we, don't you? Just, um, yeah, but as it was you, real quick. Him, I do not wish to overstep my bounds as guild leader and just take things that you have found. I mean, it's just paper with numbers to me, so by all means, uh, for, for my perspective. On one condition. Name it. When you find the meaning of the note, you must not call upon another party. You must recall upon us. He nods and says, Fair trade. Very well. Now, uh, I have kind of like a photographic memory as a kinku, so I, I have already memorized that note, right? Uh, did you actually look at the note? He was. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, because I did a, uh, a throw to see if it was a cipher. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, you 100% memorized that ah. Okay. AKA, you saved the JPEG. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that's the far, but like, that's what I did. That's definitely the best thing to do. Literally a photographic thing. Yeah. Yes, Songboy does continue. 
He says, as promised, I will help you all find what you are looking for. But that will take some time. But as promised, I swear it shall be done. I just nod and get up. Is that all you need from us? Tells you, yes, uh, the guild will be contacting you for a new mission Ooh. soon. Very well. Okay, then. We can leave. All right. Walk away. And that Let us go. is where session one ends. Woo! All right. Yeah. yeah, that was great. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.